Hey there, in this video I'm going to show you how to do the click method of editing. It's a method that will save you a lot of time in your post-production, hopefully meaning that you don't have to listen back to every single episode you do or every minute of every episode you do, certainly. So let me show you the process. I'm using Audacity here to demonstrate it, but obviously it works in any auditing pack, uh, editing package even that lets you see the audio waveform. So just to demonstrate, I'm going to pretend I'm recording the start of one of my episodes of PodCraft and I'll show you how I would deal with a mistake that I make in the introduction. So here goes. Hey folks and welcome to another episode of PodCraft. This is the series that deals with podcasting in all its forms, helps you to create a great podcast. This is episode 102 where we're talking about, uh, intro oh, no this isn't episode 102, this is episode 103. So what I do is I shall click my tongue with a pause either side and I'll start again. This is the episode around how you create, no that's another mistake. This is the episode on how you do an introduction to your podcast in the best possible way, episode 103. So let's get started. Okay, let's press stop. So that shows you how stumbly I sometimes are, uh, am over my uh, introductions. Now, what we do for editing is that we make sure we're zoomed in uh, a certain amount on the waveform. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is probably about right here. So you're talking about close to a minute across left to right. Obviously, that depends on the size of your screen a little bit. But we're going to start to scroll through. So I'm looking through my waveform. And suddenly, I see these quite loud clicks. You can see there's three lines side by side. It's quite obvious and there's a pause either side as well. Now this second one that I did, I actually didn't do it loud enough. You can see that it is three clicks, but actually it doesn't show up quite as much on the waveform. So it's not quite as good. Really, I should have got my mouth right up onto the mic, clicked quite loudly with my tongue, and then it would show up like these first ones. And make sure I do a pause start and finish as well. So I'll call that a deliberate mistake to show what it looks like when you don't do it right. <laughs> but if you have a pause before, a pause after, and the clicks are nice and loud, then that makes them show up very easily. And if you have a big long episode and you're scrolling through slowly but surely, you'll spot these really easily. And all I tend to do is I play it straight after the clicks. So I'll play the bit right after with a pause either side. I'll listen and I'll start again to what is there. Maybe here. This is the episode on how you do an introduction to your podcast. So the first of that was this is the episode. I'll go back. A great podcast. This is episode 102 where we're talking about so helps you to create a great that podcast. Sounds like about this is there. episode is where I will finish off. So what I'll do is I'll just end up going there. I'll delete that section. Forms helps you to create a great podcast. This is the episode on so how you... That obviously needs a little bit more refinement to make that join okay. But that demonstrates how you can take out a mistake within a podcast really easily just by using that click method, clicking your tongue to mark out where on the show edits are required.